<laughs> what in the world? Welcome back to People Be Like. I'm William Haynes. I'm Jessica. This episode was brought to you by the new 2017 Corolla. Toyota, let's go places. I need 15 Magnum 8s to sell fight Agnamo. Here you go. I need Expo Petroleo right in here now. Okay. 15 milligrams. Wait, I don't think that's a real thing. Lumos Maximek. No, what? this isn't science. Why are we doing a science show? You don't know anything about science. Okay, so I met this girl at the library. She seemed like a smart one. She was reading Harry Potter, and I knew she was the one. I could tell because of the way she looked at me. The background on her cell phone was the same picture of a movie that I liked once. Stop. Okay, so all of this is just to talk to a girl? Yeah? Well, then we're gonna need some professional help. Hold on. I'm pretty sure John knows someone in San Francisco. Hey, John? Do you know a science guy in San Francisco? You do? Perfect. Well, here we are, on our way. On our way! I really want to impress this woman because I just want to prove that being smart can get you it. I don't know why I'm here. What am I, am I your wing woman now? Yes, like... you're my wing woman since day one, all right? I Horrific. thought you knew this. Uh, well, why do you want this girl's attention so hard? Because you're not living life unless you're changing yourself for a woman. She should like you for who you are. I mean, me is good enough, but me would be better if he had a bigger brain. Why don't you want me to get smart? I do want you to get smart, but I also don't want you to change who you are to just try to impress another person. Look. But if you are trying to achieve intellectual awakeness, then I think it's a smart idea. That's exactly what I'm trying to do, is get that awakeness. Cool. Well, at least we'll be friends and we'll be together if we wear the same jacket. So I'll wait until you park. All right, Will, are you excited to learn about some science? Oh yeah, for sure. Women love smart men. I'm ready to be that guy. Yeah, I guess that's kind of true. What's going I'm on back excited. here? It's a little bit too quiet. Yeah, what's... Freeze! <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. Uh... I'm sorry. Are you guys John's friends? Yeah. Sorry. What was that? That's my security system. Okay. Anyway, I just wait for someone to come up the driveway. But uh, it, it wasn't for you guys. Apologies. I'm Mark. <laughs> I'm Will. Will, I'm good to meet you. I'm Jessica. Jessica, Hello. good to I meet you. I just want to get smarter. Okay. <laughs> okay. Not die. Not die. Okay. Perfect. Got it. Let's do some science. I guess All right. so. Let's do science. Let's do science it. Science part. So let's start right here. Okay. Wow. Ooh, sunflower. Yes. Ooh, spoon. <laughs> and hammer. Oh. <laughs> the trifecta. You got too many weapons. By the way, so why the sudden interest in science? Oh, just girl at the library got impressed by next week, so let's get to it. <laughs> uh, I see. Well, that's a lot of pressure on me to, like, kind of make you oh, yeah. a player through science. Totally. Right? It's a new way of doing it. A lot of people, like, they're like, ooh, I want to dress nice. I want to dress my brain. Uh. That's smart. What do you know about science? Like, where am I starting? Gravity. Gravity. That's Gravity. in physics. Centrifugal force. Basically, One AU unit. That's true. I that overheard you say. Astronomical unit. And what oh. does that represent? That's the distance between, uh, from the sun to the earth. Well done, okay. Boom! <laughs> Okay, so physics is great because it sort of explains like the world around us using math and equations. So everything we're doing today kind of has to do with physics All right. and understanding the world around us. I like it. All right, so we've got some flowers. Cool. Banana. Okay. A hammer. Huh? But most importantly, this huge tub of liquid nitrogen. Wow, that which looks dangerous. Which is negative 321 degrees Fahrenheit. How? Can I twist this off or? Uh, you could. What'll happen? Oh no, It'll I'm explode. Oh, no. Okay, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Can one of you pull that off? I'll do it. Okay. Wow! And uh, safety first, I should probably put on these gloves. Here you go. What? Do, do I need gloves? <laughs> okay, here we go. Ready? Wow. Oh my god. What's coming out? <laughs> oh wow. I like this a lot. Listen to that sound, isn't that cool? Wow. And to demonstrate just how cold, you said you like... I love sunflowers. Okay. Oh, no. So I'm going to stick this oh in no. here. Oh, no. What are you doing to it? You'll see. And we'll take it out, and then... Ah! That's your flower, oh, right? Oh, no. <laughs> wow. Sorry. The reason why that shatters is that temperature is really just a measure of, like, how fast molecules are moving. 
right? So if something is warmer, the molecules are moving fast. As it gets colder, they move slower and slower, right? When you get this cold, they move so slow, they contract, they kind of like stop moving. They become rigid and then they shatter. Can I cool. smash this? You can smash it, yeah. No. <laughs> All right, so should we try a banana? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, okay, here we go. The safety tongs. I'm gonna you can make fight up the patriarchy. For me hitting you with the Nerf gun. One, two, three. Ah! Wow. <laughs> nice. Nice. Ah! It's like still a banana in there. It's yeah, still inside it's of like the banana. It's like frozen. Oh, well, you don't have to do that. It's delicious. I want to eat it. I'm not going to put this in my mouth, but I'm going to look. <laughs> Check this out. So we've got our balloon, a balloon what? here. What do you think will happen if I put a balloon pop. In here? For sure, it's gonna pop. pop? Wait, what do you the, think will happen? Mm, ah, okay, so ah, damn it. Uh, <laughs> I don't think you know. I'm gonna pump all, put all these in. Oh, Some of them are de deflating. They're deflating. So the air inside of there, those molecules are slowing down. That's right. And doing, and then they need less space to move around, right? Now watch this. Take them. And now what's happening? Ooh. Now they're like chips. Is is the air inside. No way! They're coming back to life? Back to life, right? Because the air inside is what? It's getting warmer again. Yeah, yeah, you can touch it. Is this a magic trick or science? <laughs> Where was the air at? The air, like, didn't leave or come back in here, right? Yeah. It's just the, the volume of air that was contained in there all shrunk down, right? Yeah. When it got cold, and then it got big again once it got heated up. This is a magic trick. So now we've got some graham crackers. Yum. In the spirit of full disclosure, I've never actually tried this next thing. <laughs> Ooh, experiments. Let's see what happens. Ryan. So I'm going to take this. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> I like this a lot. It's freezing. That's yeah, a little cold. <laughs> Don't put it on your tongue, right? There you go. Boy, it's cold out. <laughs> Pull out here, y'all. Okay, here we go. And then, when you're all done, just do this. Oh my god! Wow. And that's how you get rid of it. Oh! Science, y'all. What? <laughs> what in the world? Okay, so you guys pass like lesson one. Awesome. All right. Now we're up in our game a little bit. Let's do it. All right. So we've got some balloons here and they're filled with helium. I've okay. seen that before. You know the little helium thing, yeah. right? So, uh, I mean, let's just demonstrate it and we'll get right to okay. it. Okay. So take a deep breath of your helium balloons. Go okay. ahead. Take, oh no, <laughs> that's not me. Oh yeah. <laughs> that sounds so weird. I feel like a lot's going on right now. <laughs> I graduated from college. <laughs> Someone give me tacos! So basically what's going on here is this is sulfur hexafluoride and it's six times heavier than air. So helium is six times lighter than air. This is like the other way, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that, that's enough. <laughs> And so the question is, why does it make your voice deeper? Well, the molecules must be closer. Look at this guy, yeah. look at Bill Nye. Honestly, yeah, 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 they're closer molecules than all that. <laughs> it actually does have to do with molecules, right? Oh, not so bad, Will. So when you hear a sound, basically, that's your eardrum that's vibrating because oh. air molecules are vibrating through the air. And if a bird chirps, you're like, oh, that's a beautiful sound. What's really happening is the bird's vocal cord is pushing the closest air molecule, which then hits the next one, which then hits the next one, and eventually it hits your eardrum. And your eardrum's like, oh, I moved in that way? Your brain says, ah, that's a bird chirping. Wow. So when you hear stuff, you're really detecting pressure waves in the world around you. Oh, yeah. wow. the more you know. The you more learn you something know. new. I think you guys got this. And so now the final challenge, lesson three. Cool. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. let's do it. All right, so I've been impressed. You guys are doing well so far. All right, S science knuckles. So we're on to our third and final lesson. Okay. And so for this one, I built a homemade glow wall. So basically it like captures your shadow on the wall, right? So we're gonna go do it, and then we'll come back out and talk about like what's going on. Awesome, let's ready? do it. Glow wall? 
So this is like photoluminescent material basically. So what's gonna happen is the camera flash is gonna go and then just like strike a pose, right? And then all the light hits it and then where your shadow is, like where you're blocking, right? It'll make a shadow. Oh, yeah, why doesn't everybody pick a pose? Yeah, so pick right, a pose. So what are you doing? I don't know. Don't look at the light. Ah! You good? Ah! I see so many colors Okay, there. so that's Sam back. So these are lasers. Oh lord. I say we take turns. Everyone picks somebody different and like you can draw stuff on okay. the other person. much fun. Really Pretty was. awesome, right? Yeah. So, do you guys know why stuff glows? Fossil fuels. No. That's right. That's not right. That's oh. Fossil fuels? <laughs> so the key to understanding why stuff glows in the dark is to first look at fluorescent materials, like my awesome 80s gear here, right? Dig it. So it looks really bright, right? Fluorescent materials have a special property where when UV light hits it, it excites an electron, and then when it comes back down to its original energy state, it gives off extra light, mm. right? So glow in the dark stuff is called phosphorescence. It's just a special case of that. Fossil fuels. <laughs> That's right. Something like that. So instead of getting excited and releasing the energy right away, it takes a while for that energy to be released, right? So it gets trapped in this high energy state and then it slowly goes back to nothing. Interesting. The light's the same, it's just the time That's that it's right. released that changes. That's exactly right. Cool. Oh. Science is fun. I so. dig it. So, uh, I think this concludes our three lessons. And okay. uh, like any good lesson and instructional course, there's always a test at the end. You guys ready? Oh. I'm ready, yeah. Okay, you're very confident. Oh, I like yeah. it. So why did the balloons shrink? when we put them in the liquid nitrogen. Obviously, the molecules inside of it slowed down because it was cold. Oh, love that. And when they slowed down, then they got closer together, right? Exactly. Less they volume. didn't go away. They're still in there. What? Nice going, what? Okay. <sighs> All right. So, Jessica, let's oh, no. see. Uh, why does your voice get deeper with the sulfur hexafluoride? Because it's a uh, denser molecule so that when, so it's, it takes longer for your vocal cords to project that and it comes out in a deeper frequency. Love it, love <laughs> it. Lower frequency, which is deeper. That's exactly right, right? Boom, boom. Well done. Woohoo! You guys are scientists. All Science right. People. You can put something on Mars, get your girl more importantly. Yeah, let's All get right. Your lady. Thank you so much, man. That was so cool. Now get off my property. Ah! That was awesome. Wow. How does it feel? Like, I know about real life and science. Isn't that great? Yeah, it is. Education. Hey. If you want to know more about cool things, watch me learn all new careers here on People Be Like. Click that playlist in the description below to see all that you want to see. And subscribe to People Be Like for four new videos a week. I'm William Hayes. I'm Jessica. Goodbye. See you next time. Hey guys, <laughs> my name is Jessica. And subscribe to People Be Like for four videos a week. <laughs> Monday through Thursday. Oh, I just turned to a woman all of a sudden. <laughs> but just temporarily. Yay, fun time, Yay. peanuts. Yay, come back. I miss my voice. <laughs>